So why should I care about content creation? Why is it important? Why should I be making YouTube videos or TikToks or creating graphics or putting out courses or any of the above? These are questions that I hear all the time from photographers, from small businesses, from people who want to grow but don't know how or they want to grow their business and can't really figure out the way to do it. That's what this video is about. I want to talk about why you should care about content creation. It is very important in today's times on the internet and as a business owner to be creating content. People are not just naturally finding you anymore. It's not how it works. And maybe they do find you every now and then, but it's hard to build a consistent, successful business without being some sort of content creator now and nowadays. And this is something that I have always known, but I've always kind of struggled with that this was coming. And I knew that at some point I'd need to go this route stronger, but I didn't know how important it was going to be. And I want to kind of just run you through a few reasons why it's important to be a content creator and, and how to do it and, and kind of the structure that I use in my business to do this. And if you're new here, my name is Josh. I'm a photographer, a content creator, a small business owner, and I create videos based around photography and small business to help people like you grow. And if you're looking to grow your online presence, your small business, your entrepreneurship, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you find this information useful because I drop videos like this all the time. So the main thing to think about is content creation, whether it's a podcast, online uh, videos, TikToks, viral videos, whatever you want to call them, uh, a YouTube channel where you're teaching or a YouTube channel where you're just showing off stuff or uh, online courses, really anything. All of this stuff is not the what, it's the how. The how is not as important as the what. The what is what is really important. What is the reason you want to create content? What is the reason that you need to start a podcast? What is the reason that you should be teaching? Is your, is your what to get more business? Is your what to have more local traffic into your store? Is your what to build a bigger audience to grow your course online? Is your what uh, to attract new people to your coaching service? These are all important things. And this is the most important part of content creation is to figure out your what before you figure out your how. And then once you figure out your what, then your how becomes a whole lot easier. And I know that that sounds like a big like mind F, but it really is important to figure this stuff out and, and figure out what your what is and then your how. So let's talk about your how now that you've figured out your what. You've sat down, you figured out what is the reason you want to be creating content. Now we need to talk about how you're going to and why it is important. Now the number one thing that we want to talk about on the how and why it's important to be creating content no matter what it is, is it's going to show off your creative style and your unique style. Everybody has their own unique style to the way that they run their business. Uh, I, for example, have hundreds of other photographers in this area, but I consistently get booked because of my unique style, not only my actual photography style, but the way that I talk, the way that I interact with people, the way that I have fun and goof around. These are all really, really important things when it comes to building a business and being able to create TikToks or YouTube videos or Instagram reels or, or anything like that. That is really going to show who you are. It's going to let people in your door before they even come in your door of your business. But you're going to be able to show them who you are, your unique style. They're going to figure out if they want to work with you or not before you even meet them. So it's important to, to be creating this content based around who you actually are and not just uh, putting on a fake front in front of the camera. And, and that actually makes it a lot harder when you try to create this like persona. And I did it back in the day. If you watch some of my young, younger videos, I was like, yo, what up y'all? We gonna make these. And like, it's just not who I am. It's not how I talked. Um, it was just this person who was 
trying to be one of those those influencers that you see online and that's not it wasn't me and over the years as i went more into just making content that was more based around who i actually am and not trying to put on this persona not only did my traction grow but the videos were so much easier to make. It's so much easier to just be authentic in front of a camera than it is to put on this persona and try to grow a business that way. Just be yourself, get in front of a camera or get in front of a podcast, a microphone, however you want, and just show who you are and why you're important in their life. And just do it by being you. Don't worry about putting on a front or trying to impress a new client or customer. Just just be you and they'll fall in love with you who you are. And when you do this, when you when you just be you and you you don't try to put on a fake front, you're going to attract the ideal clients or customers or members or whatever you're looking for, your listeners. Uh, whatever you need for your business to grow, when you're authentic, that's gonna happen. It's going to attract the right people. Yeah, I might not be the photographer that they want to come and like just take pictures all day and not get creative, but that's not me and I'm okay with that. I'm not trying to attract those clients. If I'm creating, if I have a flower shop and I'm creating these big, beautiful like bouquets, and somebody's just looking for a little dozen roses, they might not come to me because that's not what I do. And that's okay. You want to be able to cater to the people who want to work with you, who who want your style. And when you have that unique style online and you don't reflect that in real life, they're gonna think that they got hoodwinked, they got swindled. So that's why it's another reason not to put on this fake front, this, this not you style in your videos or in your podcast or in your teaching or whatever it is, you have to be authentic because you don't want to attract the wrong crowd and she based around this fake front that you've put on. And another thing you're going to do when you're creating content is you're going to build trust in you because like I said, there are hundreds of photographers in my area, but not all of them are sitting in front of a camera talking to people. Not, of them, not all of them are teaching workshops where they're teaching their style and not gatekeeping anything. There's a lot of photographers that aren't going to these conferences or these networking groups or anything. And, and with me doing that, I'm building trust because they see me out. They know that I am an industry leader because I am always trying to teach myself something or I'm trying to teach someone else something. So that is showing that I'm a professional with this business and I take it seriously. And that's building trust, not only in me, but my brand. So they can see the JR logo or they hear the banger squad and they know that, well, that's professional. That is somebody who knows what they're doing. They know their shit, they're good to go. And that's, that's just through building content. It's not that I'm out there trying to prove that I'm something better. I'm just creating something for somebody to learn, to grow, to connect with, things like that. And it's, it's, it's simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. This video right here, I'm literally just sitting in front of a camera, one light, a light in the background, and I'm just going. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just the main part is, is just get going. So not only that is when you're creating this content, the algorithms nowadays will actually not only read your captions and let's let's take, for example, of a podcast. Uh, they're not only going to read your description, but the algorithm will actually listen to your podcast and figure out what you're talking about through it. And it'll build SEO or search engine optimization off that. When you post on Instagram for your reels, uh, and you actually type out what you're putting in there, they will actually read that. They'll read the hashtags. And then they actually, the algorithm looks at your image or your video or whatever it is and figures out what you're talking about or what you're showing in the photo. You don't need to really do it as much anymore because it's figuring it out. So by putting out this content and putting out more content and, and more content more often, no matter what it is, no matter what aspect of content it is, you're actually getting more search engine results because of that. It's making it so much easier for people to find you online if you're continuously showing up, you're continuously putting out uh, any sort of content. And the last and kind of the most important thing is it's keeping you on the top of people's minds. Sometimes when I'm in conversations, I hear it kind of often that like, 
man, I see your posts all the time. I see you posting like two or three times a day. I see you on Instagram all the time. I noticed that you're putting out YouTube videos all the time. This is important. I do it on purpose. It's not just I like to post. It's not just I have a lot to say. Now, I do have a lot to say, but that's not the reason I do it. The reason I do it is because it keeps me on people's minds. People know who I am because they always see me. They always see me online. They always see me doing live streams. They always see me posting on Snapchats and Instagrams and and always trying to get my hands in this and that and be a guest on a podcast and, and, and put my content out wherever I can because it keeps me relevant. And in this world with so many different photographers, for example, or whatever your business is, there are so many. The, the industry, every industry, every niche is oversaturated these days because people no longer want to work a nine to five. So now don't get me wrong. Some people are happy working in a nine to five, but most people no longer want to work a nine to five. They want to be their own boss. They want to make their own success, their own luck. So you have to set yourself apart. You really have to figure out how to be more successful than the next person. And it's not that you don't want that other person to be successful because every photographer in this area, I send business to and clients to and, and, uh, information to and, and all of that but i still want to be more successful because at the end of the day i need to make sure that i'm putting meals on my plates and and money in the bank account to run a successful business and hire on and do all of this so yeah it, it's a struggle it sucks sometimes i don't always want to put out content but it's important it's really really important in nowadays to be putting out content and figuring out what's going to be more successful for your business and figure out what your what is before you start creating the how. And with that being said, figure it out quickly because you need to start creating content right now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until next week. Now that you've watched this video and I hope that I've motivated you to get going, pick up a camera right now and start making content. Make a video. It doesn't matter what it is. Pick up a camera and make a video about who you are and say, hey, what's going on? I'm a photographer. My name is Josh. Thanks for watching this video. And then tomorrow, make another video where it's like, hey, what's going on? I'm editing this photo session today. That's, that's all you need to do is just continuously make content. Just put stuff out. That's all you need to do. You also need to go watch this video right here because not only do I, but YouTube thinks that it'll help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.